What a hunk of Bombay. Wow. Beautiful patent leather shine to that coat. Very beautiful muscle feeling on this cat. That coat just feels like glass. Beautiful head structure. Gorgeous set to those ears. And phenomenal eye color. Today, this is my best short hair cat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is my best cat. people that have come from all over the place to campaign their cats. So it may seem like a small unassuming little cat show, but there's a, there's some real competition going on here. CFA, which is the Cat Fanciers Association, is the world's largest registry of pedigreed cats. These are Bombay cats. That's the ultimate black cat. Only comes in black and they were originally designed to be a parlor panther. They're a very sensual cat. They have a very muscular, dense body with a flat, smooth coat that shines like patent leather. We have a small breed club called Bombay Enthusiasts, and we're here in Asbury Park to show together and try to do some serious competition. Honey Bunch, it's a cream Persian male grand champion kind of an androgynous name, but it works with him because he's got a very feminine looking face. So it's a very hard, solid color class. He, he got second in the solid color division, and the only cat that beat him was a cat from a grand champion, blue male, from Canada. So I'm frankly very pleased because he's very low in coat right now, and they're very, both, both of them, excellent cats. A Berman is a long-haired cat but they don't have an undercoat so it's not matting and they're very affectionate. Uh, I had uh, one certified as a therapy cat recently. <laughs> I've been breeding and showing Burmans for uh, 18 years now. Contrary to popular belief, Sphinx are not Egyptian. They're just named after the Sphinx statue because they kind of resemble it. They're very hardy. Um, they are warm to the touch. Good Sphinx is everything we don't want to be. That bald and wrinkled. Her name is Ellie. She is a chartreux, an eight-month-old chartreux female. The only chartreux at the show. The chartreux comes to us from France. They're the smiling blue cat of France, the native cat of France. His real name is Robert Patagini. We call him Bobby Canole. Kendall Jackson, we call him Kenny. We name all the cats after wines or something to do with wines. They're described as having a mellow disposition, so you mellow out with a glass of wine, you mellow out with a nice kitty cat. Her name is Sunshine and Roses. She's very young and she's doing nicely, for her, but she's a little hellion. It is a beauty contest, but they do also need to behave nicely. And the biggest, one of the most important things about a show cat of any kind is that it's perfectly groomed and in good condition. I mean, your cat has to be healthy and sturdy, so condition is, is part of it, health is part of it, temperament's part of it. But you will see a cat occasionally that's a little fussy do very well. Really, really phenomenal cats. I'm, I'm just so impressed with the quality of the cats here. We have basically an ideal cat and we compare each cat to that ideal cat standard and give it points. And I mean, it's something we do in our heads, so I don't generally, you know, I'm, I'm not sitting there going, well, you have 93 and a half points and you have 94 points, but it's, it's generally you compare each cat to their standard. And that's how you can take cats that are very, very different and judge them against each other because you really don't ever judge a cat against another cat. You judge a cat against the standard. Beautiful, beautiful coat, good body, mm -hmm. good ear set. This is my Selkirk Rex. She's a, a, a grand premier. She was a mommy. She had beautiful kittens that are grand champions. I have a cat that's the second best in the country right now. Very proud of these guys. They've got a sweet, sweet uh, disposition. They're kind of goofy. 
someone falls off a piece of furniture, it's usually a Selkirk. Bombay is my best cat in Premiership. Yay! Yay! Means a lot. It's doing very well exciting. Against the it cats never here. gets it's old. It's unreal. very exciting. You always have a good time when you get pets. He's heading for another ring. He's <laughs> this is a long-haired Japanese bobtail. He happens to be 12 years and 9 months of age. His name is Kit, short for Kitanumi. Being Japanese, he's named after a sumo wrestler. They have a short bunny-like tail. All the boning is there. It forms a little pom-pom. And it's like our fingerprints, there's no two alike. This is Veneer Harry Potter. He's a Norwegian forest cat, and he's a retired champion, a retired breeding cat. And after he was neutered, he became a premier, and we started we started showing him in premiership. He's now a grand premier. Absolutely magnificent. He is a joy to handle, and he is my second best cat. Yay! He was awarded second place in the top ten and Judge Jan Stevens, all breed ring. SNAP stands for Spay, Neuter, and Protect Strays. It's a nonprofit that's been around since 1986. We spay and neuter 1,200 cats a year. Buttercup, for instance, was from a property of 110 cats that we TNR'd six years ago, and we placed a lot of them, spay and neutered them. TNR is trap, neuter, and release. We trap, neuter them, give them vaccinations, we tattoo their ears, and then we re-release them out if they're not adopted, making sure that people are there to, to take care of them. So she's a good example of it. See, she's a kisser. Mm. <laughs> These are household pets. They're, they're not pedigreed, there is no standard for them. It's just a way for uh, people to be able to show their cats, and almost all of us, myself included, started off with household pets, must have their claws. We do not believe in deep clawing. It's a horrible, horrible thing. They have to have clean eyes, clean ears, have a good temperament. Galileo is our real cat. All of our catnip toys come with the adventures of Galileo. He's, he's taken on the role of Uncle Sam to tell us that your cat wants nip. And this is, of course, the stimulus package for cats. And if you have a very privileged cat, Shanip for the cat who has everything. Yeah.